my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing just a little painting project I thought I would share with you. And what makes it a little more exciting is that I have some new IOD stamps to use. So I just bought myself as a little Christmas present this pretty in plaid set. I think that was just released earlier this year in 2022. So it has a plaid, another plaid, this gingham stamp, a gingham bow. And then I didn't realize until after I bought it, there's another like kind of hidden strip of gingham down here where you guys can make it look like a ribbon with the gingham bow, it looks like this. Um, and so this is kind of a couple of what the patterns look like. Um, so I was super excited to get this on sale and that I thought as an appreciation for you guys, my audience throughout the year has been so supportive. I actually grabbed a second one to do a giveaway for today's video. So I will give you guys the details on how to enter that giveaway after the reveal of this small little project. So let me show you what I'm working on. So here is today's project piece. I'm just going to be refinishing my piano bench that goes with my piano. Um, today I'm just going to be doing the top because it's hard to tell in this lighting, but this is actually like a soft blue. There you can kind of get an idea of the color. Um, and I just like slapped this paint color on when I was refinishing the wall. So now this matches our wall, but I really don't like it. I feel like it looks very unfinished. And so I wanted to just paint the base and off white to match the piano keys. And then I'm going to use uh, my black. Iron Orchid Designs ink, which looks like this, to just stamp on the Iron Orchid Designs stamp. I'm leaning towards using this stamp right here, so I'm just going to be using that with the ink. It's going to take me a while mostly to ink it more than it would be um, to actually do the stamping part of it. Just getting the ink uh, on there perfectly is definitely going to be the biggest challenge, um, but I just think that an off-white background with that plaid stamp is gonna look nice and classy and I think it'll play off the piano keys really well. I'm gonna leave the wood just as it is for now because it still matches my piano. Eventually I do think I wanna paint my whole piano but I don't want to mess with this right now because that would mean that I needed to paint my piano soon and I'm just not quite ready to go into that whole project yet. So for today it's just the top. So let's get started with that first base coat of off-white which is this sun kiss color using this silk Dixie Belle paint because it has the primer and the top coat built in. Using the Iron Orchid Design stamps is a pretty straightforward process. I definitely uh, chose a rectangular shape on purpose though to start with these because these are such linear stamps. Um, so any mistake is going to be pretty obvious. So I wanted to use a very simple shape for my first project with these. And I've learned from the past in painting gingham stripes myself that I liked the look of them better when you start right in the center with your pattern. So I used to make the mistake of starting like on one side and working my way to the other, um, but it just is not quite as pleasing to the eye. So I did take some extra time here to figure out where the center would be. I still didn't get it like exactly right, but I got it close enough to where I think that it looks good in the end. Um, so I just use this big like sewing ruler. If you don't have one of those in your crafting room, you are missing out because I use that thing all the time. And then I'm using this gridded um, transfer sheet for the stamps. You can buy this from Ryan Orchid Design also, and that's just going to help me keep the, everything in line. I do think that a smaller sheet would have made this a little bit easier. This one was just a little bit too large and unwieldy, but it's the only one I had and I didn't want to cut it up. But I do see, see people buy this large sheet and then cut it into smaller pieces. So that's another option for you. Using the ink, that's been a pretty easy process. I noticed though that I wasn't always getting the ink on there perfectly even. I don't mind the look of it being kind of patchy, but if that bothers you, um, you might need to just spend a little bit more time 
applying the ink in a slower manner and just being really purposeful with that. It, it's just really tricky and finicky and I haven't quite mastered how to do that. Another option would be to use just like a little mini foam roller and you could use any like chalk paint color that you wanted to as long as it's like a thicker paint and you're just gonna wanna apply a very, very thin coat of that paint to the stamp. So if you didn't wanna invest in the ink, that would be another option for you to try out these stamps as well. Um, so as you see here, once I kind of got the pattern going, it was pretty easy. Um, there are a few spots where I definitely made mistakes and left a little bit too much of a gap. As my transfer sheet gets dirtier, it's a little bit harder for me to see my lines, so I probably should have been taking the time to wipe that off more often. I just like to use a baby wipe to get the ink off as I go, um, and definitely at the end of the project, but I wasn't doing it very well here, so it keeps getting darker and darker, which makes it a little bit harder to do this, but... I was trying to just move through this pretty quickly and get it done in one afternoon. What you don't see off camera is that I do take the time to go along the edges of the piano bench top so that there are lines that wrap all the way around. I thought that looked a little bit more complete and I just like the look of that. And then I'm also going to be doing uh, just that clear coat over the top from Dixie Belle. It's um, just their very, their matte clear coat, which I think is my favorite because it doesn't tend to yellow your whites, which is a problem a lot with any time, type of top coat. And this is the final result. So you can see what I mean there by wrapping the stamp around down to the sides. And honestly, it feels very durable at this point already, but I do want to add that top coat just to make sure that that black doesn't scratch off too easily. But the white feels so, so durable with that built-in top coat and that built-in primer. I just think the Dixieville Silk Paint is such a good product. Um, so I'm so happy to be offering that still on my Etsy site if you guys need a vendor. And this is how it looks. It was so easy. Honestly, this just took me maybe an hour or two. I even sped up the paint drying process with a hair dryer. So very quick and easy process. And I'm super excited to share this stamp set with one of you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching today's project. Make sure to enter the giveaway that you guys have liked today's video, commented down below. I would love to hear your favorite thing that you got or gave for Christmas. And then uh, subscribe to my channel. And those are the three things that I will look for. Make sure that you have entered down below and done all those steps and you guys will be qualified to win. And then I will send you a little message to get your email and all your contact info so I can ship it to you. I appreciate you guys spending some more time with me today and I will see you in the next video. Bye.